Raider Nation and welcome to this week's edition of Raider Vision All Access Weekly. Well, the trophy case just keeps growing for the Lady Raider cross country team. Following a solid showing at the NCAA Championships this past weekend in Indiana, the Lady Raiders brought home a program best third place finish. The team garnered a meet high three All-Americans led by junior Rose Tanui as she found herself leading the pack for most of the race before finishing in a team best fifth place. The Lady Raider basketball team continued their winning ways this past week as they improved to a perfect 4-0 on the season with a commanding win over the visiting Mississippi Valley State Tuesday night at the United Spirit Arena. Head coach Christy Curry's team jumped out to an early 26-4 lead in the first half and never looked back en route to a 73-28 win. In a game that saw action for every Lady Raider on the bench, sophomore Christine Hyde scored a season-high 15 points to pace the balanced attack. Coach Curry was very pleased with the progress of her young squad and the depth this team brings to the court. And I think we understand that you know we have to have a great balance as a team this year to be successful. We need to have a presence inside, but to have a presence inside, we've got to make better decisions on the perimeter with an aggressive spirit and get the ball inside, whether it's on penetration or you know when you reverse the ball, um, when you penetrate, you're going to be able to get the ball inside more. So um, we did a better job as far as our perimeter presence, decision making wise, and the post did a better job. It was a combination the other night of working and going to the open areas, crashing the offensive class. And, um, you know, that's what every experience we have is about, is, is continuing to improve. The Lady Raiders will play host to the World Vision Classic this weekend in Lubbock at the United Spirit Arena. The tournament is set to tip off at 6 p.m. Friday night with Tech taking on Charleston Southern. You're encouraged to follow all the action live right here at TexasTech.com with live video and audio feeds available from Raider Vision All Access. The men's team also saw action earlier this week as they played host to the opening rounds of the South Padre Island Invitational at the United Spirit Arena. Backed by a career-high performance by senior David Tyroot, the Red Raiders earned their first dominating win of the 2010 season with a 103-79 second round victory over Georgia Southern. Tyroot would lead a balanced scoring attack as five Red Raiders would finish the night in double digits. Following the win, Tech will travel to South Padre for the first of two games Friday night as they will take on St. Mary's at 7.30 p.m. In the regular season finale, the Red Raider football team will take the field against in-state opponent, the University of Houston Cougars, right here Saturday night at Jones AT&T Stadium. Coming off a huge 64-21 win over Weber State last weekend, Tech became bowl eligible for a Big 12 record 18th straight season, fourth best in the nation. Tech will look to avenge last season's disappointing loss in Houston to the Cougars as the Red Raiders fell 29 to 28. Kickoff is slated for 7 p.m. to be broadcast on Fox Sports Network. However, if you are unable to join us here at Jones AT&T Stadium or can't watch it on TV, you're encouraged to follow all the action live right here at TexasTech.com on our Game Day Central webpage. Red Raider fans, don't forget to keep up to date with all the news and action around Texas Tech right here at TexasTech.com or follow us on Twitter at Tech Athletics. From all of us at Raider Vision All Access, I'm Courtney Davis. Till next time, guns up.